On that note, a great part of, of Starbucks growth opportunity has been in China, obviously. Uh, that was a key part of, of your uh, philosophy on where to grow Starbucks internationally. And I'm just wondering, you know, we're talking about uh, the, the ratcheted up tensions between our two countries. And now we're, we're dealing with the TikTok talks between that company and Microsoft. But if, if you're a CEO trying to grow your business in China, how do you navigate what appears to be a much more difficult landscape? Uh, I appreciate the question, having spent so much time in China over the last 20 years. And Starbucks has a footprint there of 5,000 stores and opening a store every day. And I am very close to that business, the people who run it, and very proud of what we've done. Uh, I'm going to say something that I know will be controversial, but I, I think when people take a step back and listen to it, maybe they'll understand. Uh, certainly, this administration has ratcheted up uh, the situation between U.S. and China relations. And I certainly understand that there are political issues to deal with uh, that are very significant and very complex. I always viewed Russia as an enemy of America, but I always viewed China as a competitor, not an enemy. And I think the country and the United States government and certainly business leaders would be so much well, so well served if we were able to bridge the gap and recognize that China and the U.S. are going to have to create a co-authorship of how do we live together, recognizing that we are fierce competitors, uh, that we have differences in the way we govern, uh, we have differences in politics. Uh, but the world would be much better, much safer, and the economy globally would be much better served if America and China could create an opportunity for us to work together. And I, I think that over the last three years, unfortunately, uh, that has not been the case. I, I do understand that there are significant issues. Don't, don't misunderstand me. But creating this kind of situation, I don't think... Is, is in best interest of anyone in America, let alone business people. But certainly the American people would be better served to try and understand how we can get along with China as a significant competitor, not an enemy, uh, where, where I believe that Russia is a very different story and an enemy of the country.